Yeah, so we just had a question that's somewhat related in the feed here, and this is from um, Christian Perez Morin. And the question is, you know, so after reading the printed book, having been inspired to see other education models, maybe you can see this too, David. Um, you know, the question is, how do you hope that this um, is used in an educational environment in terms of students using it, but also educators? So I guess both the book and the new EPUB, which contains videos of you performing these lectures, how, does, how do you envision that influencing both educators and students? I mean, the book, I hope, um, you know, what, what I said out there and what's written in the preface or whatever it is, the introduction, um, suggests that, you know, this is really just like one person's take on some interesting um, stories in graphic design. And so it's not intended to be in any way a canon, um, but it's supposed to be a, a prompt for other people to do the work themselves and kind of, you know, gather a constellation of references and some material to keep your practice moving. And to keep, so it's not, so if it's any, for how it's used in teaching, like sure, you can like share the essays about one particular person, but it shouldn't be mistaken that this covers all of the material that's to be covered. And the same, the same thing with the, with the EPUB and the videos, like I could imagine those could be shown as videos, like kind of remote guest lecture. Um, and I think those, because of the quality of speaking, it's clear that it's not like a definitive history of graphic design. This is certainly not anything like that in spirit. Um, so anyway, those videos, like I think they could work pretty okay, like showing in a class as a kind of, and staged as a kind of, we have a visitor today via Zoom. <laughs> um, I hope so. I mean, this whole thing might be recorded right now. We couldn't tell, could we? <laughs> um, well, yeah, and I love that, you know, an EPUB format of you giving a lecture in 2018 is almost equivalent to you giving a lecture now in 2020. You know, we're on mute, we're not physically present. There's sort of a real, I, I think it's actually, um, there's a lot of commonalities between these videos and sort of how we're experiencing teaching now. So it's interesting. Is there a question? Uh, no, oh, there's, there's another a new question. question. David, do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Yeah, uh, I see it now. So okay. uh, how have you found this experience today, David? What are your feelings about Zoom and online learning? Are faces hidden in the COVID era? Uh, well, um, when I do classes in Zoom, like I insist everybody has on their camera, but this is more people, I guess, so that's a different thing. But uh, uh, yeah, I've gotten used to teaching on Zoom, but it's nowhere near as nice as teaching in a room, right? I mean, it's it's like that. So this would be great if we were somewhere doing it together, but it's fun to kind of explore the possibilities of uh, it's like shared electronic space. Um, I don't know, that answered, maybe that answered the question. Um, Alex, did that answer your question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, I find it interesting as an anecdote that you, I mean, I've engaged in a lot more teaching um, experiences than I ever was able to before. I watch lectures all the time now, and but I do watch it sort of with half of my brain. It's sort of on in the background. I'm usually trying yeah. to do something else. Um, mm -hmm. I don't recommend necessarily, but it's been an experiment. Yeah, but it is nice to have access to all of these different uh, sort of classrooms, virtual classrooms around the world that we wouldn't have had access to previously. I mean, actually, I made use of like inviting people from farther afield to join my class. Mm -hmm. Like you guys are coming. Oh, <laughs> Very so Returning to New Jersey virtually next. Week. That's right. You guys are coming to New Jersey soon. <laughs> um, Great. Anyone else with burning burning questions for the last few minutes here, or not so burning, just general? Also fine. What if we ended by everybody turning on their camera? Yeah, <laughs> I love that idea. We can choose a virtual background. <laughs> That'd be fun. Great, we're doing it, and we can do. A, we'll do a gallery view too. 
Okay. Nice to say hi. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Nice to see you. Wonderful. Oh, yeah, it's so different, isn't it? Suddenly. It's Art. funny flat, right? <laughs> I wasn't sure. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for coming. Um, and there's more online if you are interested. A pre program for graphic design is available from ORG. It's also on the Apple Bookstore as an audio um, experience. We highly recommend going to O dash R dash G, um, however, to um, make a purchase. Also available there is the digital version of a new program for graphic design. And you can still get uh, the kind of physical version, which is a great companion to these other virtual tools. Um, still relevant. Still relevant, still works. Um, <laughs> that's available on inventorypress.com and through DAP. Yeah, very good. There's the book. <laughs> this is wonderful. So nice to see everybody. Um, yeah, and thanks for taking the time in your either lunchtime or afternoon to join us. Yeah, thank you all. Nice to see so many people. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, right. everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye.